Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another ink comparison video. This is Waterman Ink Comparisons number one. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some inks. So the first ink is Waterman Audacious Red. Let's just do an ink swatch. You can see this is actually quite a sort of faded red. So we do a second pass there. So this is Waterman. And it's Audacious Red. But this is actually quite a nice red ink. And the good thing about Waterman inks are is that they are actually fairly well behaved, especially for vintage pens and sack pens. The next ink is Waterman Harmonious Green. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see here that this is actually a little bit more of a bluish green than a maybe mid green. So the second pass there. So this is Waterman. And it's Harmonious Green. Now, you might be able to see here, but there is quite a bit of sheen around the rim of that bottle there. So I'm hoping that we might see a little bit of sheen on this Tomoe River, and this is 52 GSM paper. The next ink is Waterman Inspired Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a lovely sort of light blue turquoise colour ink. And... I've always said in a lot of my currently ink videos that I can normally use this as a good replacement for Pilot Washizuku Compeki. If you don't want to pay the price, then you could go for that instead. It's not identical, but it's a really nice blue. So this is Waterman. And it's Inspired Blue but this is a very good favorite of mine. The next ink is Waterman, and this is Florida Blue. Uh, it has now been renamed by Waterman to Serenity Blue, but this is one of the older bottles of Waterman ink that I have. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is really more of a regular blue You can see there from the second pass, the sort of colour difference that you get there on that ink. So this is Waterman. And it's Florida Blue. But also now called Serenity Blue. So if you do want to buy a new bottle of this, look for Serenity Blue instead. The next ink is Waterman Tender Purple. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this actually is quite a nice purple ink. And it really is a, an ink that I don't use enough. But I should do. So this is... Waterman and it's tender purple but that is a beautiful beautiful ink the next ink is Waterman absolute brown now this used to 
be called Havana Brown. But it's now Absolute Brown. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I guess you could probably see because of why it was called Havana, because it is a little bit more of a Havana sort of cigar color. I do find that this ink is a little bit more on the drier side, so do a second pass here. So you can see the difference between a wet and dry nib. So this is Waterman. And it's absolute brown. Or you might still find an odd bottle here or there with uh, it called Havana Brown. But I think most of the bottles now, I think it was from 2010 or 2012 onwards, they renamed it to Absolute Brown. And then the last Waterman ink here is Waterman Intense Black. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is a fairly intense black, but... When it goes on, it looks quite black, but when it dries, I tend to find it's a little bit more of a charcoal kind of black. So this is Waterman. Intense. Black. So let's take a look at these colors in a little bit more detail. The first ink is Waterman Audacious Red. And you can see here, this has quite a bit of shading around the pooled areas. You can also see that there's quite a difference between a very wet nib and a dry nib there. So there's shading, but I'm not seeing any sheening there. The next ink is Waterman Harmonious Green. And you can see a massive amount of shading around the pooled areas. Uh, it's quite a contrasty difference between the wet and the dry nib. There isn't any sheening going on, although I kind of want to say it's trying to sheen around the edges here. It's almost a, yeah, maybe it is a red sheen that's going on there. It's just very subtle. The next ink is Waterman Inspired Blue and... There isn't a lot of shading here, but you can see a slight difference between a wet and dry, sort of how it would appear in a different kind of nib. Uh, this is a really nice, lovely blue turquoisey ink, and it's an ink I like a lot. So there's not a lot of shading and there's no sheening going on there. And then we have the lovely Waterman Florida Blue and you can see there's a lot more shading going on with this one. But you can also see a difference here between the dry and a wet sort of nib. And I would say that that's actually quite a nice blue. Uh, I think Waterman inks are generally underrated. A lot of people don't buy Waterman inks. And they tend to go for Diamine and other brands. The next ink is the lovely Waterman Tender Purple. And there's quite a bit of shading going on here. Um, now, you can actually see that I actually did sort of do an extra couple of lines here, and it is a little bit wet. Um, but you can see a difference between here and here. This is the wet, and this is a dry nib, and this is wet again. But it's also got a little bit of shading and sheening going on there. Um, it's got a little bit of gold sheen around, I'd say, the edges here. It's not a lot, but it's just a little. The next thing is Waterman Absolute Brown. And this is, you can see, a very contrasty difference between a wet and a dry nib. Um, it does have a little bit of shading going on. Uh, not a huge amount, but a little bit. Uh, there's no sheening, though, going on with that brown ink. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if I've ever seen a brown ink that sheens. Uh, if you have seen one, then do let me know in the comments below. And then the last ink is Waterman Intense Black. Now, you don't see a lot of shading going on, but you do see a difference between the wet and a dry there. But you do see quite a bit of sheening going on. So this is has got a little bit of sort of 
goldy, bronzy sheen going on. So, and typically I find this with a lot of black inks is that black inks tend to, I think probably because of the dye concentration level in the inks, uh, the, the higher the concentration level of dye, typically the more they will sheen. And blacks being quite dark and having to have a very large amount of dye content I think that's the reason why that you tend to see more sheen on black inks and also blue and purple inks as well. So that's my Waterman inks comparison video number one. If there are any inks here that you do like the look of, then do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other Waterman inks that you have uh, seen and used uh, over the years that may be end of life, then likewise, do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Waterman Inks comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.